Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of June. Um, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So what I have is the cross, the tower, and the key on the dice. Um, and so beginning with the cross, which is a card of burdens, uh, this is being confirmed over here and over here. Um, so, it could be uh, something that uh, feels really heavy, something on your mind, some information that you're carrying. Um, I feel that the tower here is the house. I feel... Um, or what's going on in the house. I feel like you're being very careful and guarded um, <clears throat> with uh, what's happening in the house or, uh, or outside of it, so to speak. I feel like you may suspect your partner uh, has not been truthful. I feel like you're feeling alone in this relationship and you're wondering why. That's what really uh, starts you to thinking and to searching and looking, I feel, uh, for the key. The key uh, represents something that you have been searching for and that you stumble upon when you least expect it. And so I feel that this is what happens and causes you uh, all of these suspicions, okay, uh, about your partner and what they are truly feeling, what kind of relationship this really is, and what is really going on, you know, what are their intentions here. So you're down in, your, in, in the basement here on this card of the house, you know, um, between you and this person, uh, it seems like the emotions are out of balance. You're looking at uh, most likely the foundation. You're studying uh, this person. Um, this is somebody long-term. In your mind, it was, was long-term. Um, you're studying uh, the potential for growth here. You're, because you're feeling, uh, you're feeling like you've lost something here. You're feeling like, because your intuition is telling you something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. You feel alone in this relationship. You feel like this person is not listening. I feel that when you talk, they kind of give you that impression that they're not listening. Um, it feels like uh, you feel you've taken a fall. And that maybe you're just barely, maybe you're just barely hanging on in this, in this relationship. Or that's what it feels like. Like it's holding together by a very weak thread, you know. And you're trying to, <clears throat> you're trying to find out why and uh, why uh, you're picking up, picking these things up. You may be trying to confirm something that you are feeling or that you stumble upon. Some message, perhaps. We see it down here that you feel that this person, you're trying to decide if this person has a lover. That's what you're trying to decide if they were... Uh, if they stepped outside of the relationship. And already just thinking about this brings you a lot of pain. Um, so you're wondering if there is a third person. You didn't see this coming. Like you, you just, 
I feel like you're, whatever you stumble upon uh, surprises you, but explains a lot, you know, that's, that's how it feels. I still feel like you are in love with this person and that uh, they there's a very intense uh, attraction between you and this person still, or for you to them at least. You're hoping that you're wrong. Um, you're hoping... Um, that they will just sweep in and and tell you you're wrong and carry you away kind of like this <clears throat> in this nine of cups you are missing that tenth cup so to some extent it's like it feels okay but that Mm, that that fulfillment the tenth cup is missing um, and that weighs heavily on your mind that weighs heavily on your mind it's like uh, you can't talk or that they don't listen when you do talk I keep getting that um, there's like a, it's like they're always distracted or that there are distractions or that um, maybe what's heavily on your mind is uh, that you feel there's competition here and this is why this cup is missing. That there is perhaps a deeper emotional issue So you have all of this anxiety, uh, worry over what you believe is going on. You're trying to think your way through it. That 10 of rods is appearing, reappearing here. Um, you may feel kind of scattered all over the place. Your thoughts are all over the place because you're missing facts, but you uh, you feel like this person is hiding something from you, information from you, and you feel like it. they've been doing so for some time. And it's like you didn't see it. And so now uh, you're preparing to have a, a conversation or you're preparing to confront them on this on what you what you feel is going on or uh, having to do with uh, what you found and so you're really thinking about how you're going to approach the person the subject and um, what you're going to say words will have to be chosen carefully so uh, you're weighing things up there. You're hoping you're wrong because you do love this person. And you're hoping that, uh, again, that that you can gain some ground here, that you can... Uh, that you can find a peaceful solution to this or that there is something else that would explain what's going on other than what you're thinking it is because clearly you feel there's a third party when you look into the emotions it's what you're feeling and so with regards to uh to receiving what your heart desires it feels at this moment that everything is against it 
this is a decision about confronting this person with what you suspect is going on. I feel that you're longing for good news or a good response. Uh, you're longing for good results, but you have this sinking feeling because of something you have stumbled upon or will stumble upon with the birds in the garden. So possibly maybe something uh, that you see or hear. Yeah, you may actually witness something or you may hear something or hear gossip or see it written or stumble upon something because the garden can be a public place so you have a decision to make about a confrontation or confronting them to get to the truth and you will be um, really thinking over carefully what you're going to say I feel like uh, it's like it's got it, it this has to stop because uh, you may not be sleeping well at night because you wake up worrying uh, worrying, a lot of worrying, headaches maybe. Um, it's like you can't think. It's like you can't get things straight in your head here. There's too much going on in the mind and you just want to know. You need to know. And um, having the key here it says you're going to get your answers. So whatever you've been searching for, um, the key is the answer that you're looking for. It is that thing that makes everything just kind of click into place. And when you find this or get this, everything will be clear and make sense to you. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.